responsible for dog ownership, education for dog owners, uh, education for people who come into contact with dogs, community support, community involvement, planning, policy making, and so forth. These are the key elements of an in-depth report on the RDCO's dog control service that were presented to a packed City Hall chambers Monday night. Several points were made on how to improve the services, but it was clear the focus for many was on aggressive dogs in the community. The current approach taken by the regional district there, with respect to dealing with dangerous dogs and aggressive dogs is not unsound. With respect finally to destruction or euthanasia, there is the need to minimize that in all cases. One of the recommendations, Mr. Chairman, is to retain the two tiers of aggression. So currently in our bylaw, we have aggressive dogs and we have dangerous dogs. So I suggested that every dog that, is, that, that inflicts serious injury be deemed a dangerous dog, other dogs be deemed aggressive dogs. A three strikes policy was also suggested, which would allow for aggressive dogs to receive behavioral training and for the owners to receive education before another serious attack occurs. I think from a victim's um, standpoint, I, I definitely don't like the three strike policy. Um, the, the dog that got my son was considered aggressive and, um, you know, is it fair that my son became the second notch on that dog's collar? I don't think so. Overall, the report was well received, yet some believe more changes could be made. I believe in, contra in, in difference of opinion to, to Alan Nielsen Welch, I believe that the regional district has caused most of their own problems. I do not believe the public has caused those. I believe the problems exist because the public has reacted to what the regional district dog control has done. The public will have the chance to weigh in on the report at a later date, and the model, which is based on one already in use in Calgary, may take up to a year to implement. Jen Zielinski in Kelowna for Castanet News.